What's up, guys? Tyler at RC Madness. I uh, just got something to show you guys today. Uh, it's a project I've been working on. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, something's a little different. I'm sure you can always see it in the background there. That's right. I'll be doing a uh, 1/14 scale semi slash construction equipment now. Um, along with the mud truck this summer, this is what we uh, like to get into. I built the Tamaya Grand Hauler in preparation. Uh, got a buddy of mine building the uh, Mercedes dump truck there. I'm not sure the official name on that one, the Ar Arcos or something like that. That one's pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, it's still a bit of a work in progress. Um, right after that, I'll show you guys. I know I got wires wires hanging in there before you tear me apart in the comments. I know they're there. This is work in progress, so there's a few things I still gotta button up, a couple things that are a little off, but it's one of those things that are never really done, but I was really excited to show you guys, and I figured you guys would like it. I'm just gonna do uh, show you a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of close up on it, because I'm sure there's a few guys that are interested in the, uh, the semi stuff. I know a lot of people around here have really liked it. Um, so I just wanna do a little close up video about it, because I didn't see there's some videos on YouTube about them. Most of them are just driving, not really up close to it. But uh, let's right, check so it I got out. you guys off the tripod. Just wanted to hold it so we can get a little better uh, look at some of the details on it here. So right off the bat, we got the uh, RC four wheel drive stamp steel wheels. Uh, those are real metal B block rims. These are the tires the kit comes with. Uh, I may change them out for something more aggressive because we want to do construction in the dirt. Uh, I went with the uh, just a bright red on this, just, uh, I'm not sure, no particular reason why, I just kind of liked it with the white rims, kind of a classic color. Um, let's start at the back here. I do have the full MFC kit in this, so it's got all the lights. Um, I'll do a little clip at the end so you guys can hear the sound and the lights. Uh, I, I haven't figured out all the functions yet, but uh, I'm still working on it. We do have the lot, lights uh, ran up the middle here. I'll uh, probably end up uh, trying to run those to the side here, um, just didn't get there yet. Uh, this piece here, uh, this ball attaches to the fifth wheel and opens the latch. Um, it's not connected. I'm gonna be uh, order the the uh, automatic uh, kit for it. Opens and closes with a servo. Uh, so that's just hanging out for now. Um, the trailer I got on on order a low boy trailer for it, um, so we can do haul the equipment with it. Um, so in the back here is where the battery goes Pull these latches So you guys can check out what's going on in there with the MFC and all the lights It's a mess in there. So I gotta pull the body off and uh, redo that so I can get the Get the wires out of the front windshield because you can't have that. I'll probably end up smoking out the windshield a little bit um, Wipers move around um, yeah, it's got all the uh, LEDs in the front, up top. And we got the blinkers and the headlights. I'll show you guys that at the end there. Uh, dual stacks, they are metal. Uh, it's all metal little handles. Wicked detail on this thing. Uh, basically like building a model. Um, little mirrors move. Pretty wild. Um, See if I can flip it up here so you guys can see what's going on underneath. So we got the tandem axles to a really long drive shaft because this is the grand hauler, so it's extended. And then we have the transmission, it's a three speed transmission. So check out the gear ratios on the box there. Seems to be working pretty well. I'll show you the uh, radio in a second, how that works. I put a 35 turn uh, RC four wheel drive motor in it and a couple Savox servos. And there's the front axle there, straight axle with leaf springs, just like the real truck. So it's pretty simple in design, just the frame rails and axles and transmission, really. Pretty much like a real truck. I'm gonna set that there, show you the, the radio. I'm using just the Tamiya radio that they call for, nothing fancy. Um, it's got the, the shift gate for three, two, one high, low, forward, reverse, and then your steering, and then the trim knobs and other options. They give you uh, different sounds and different ways to turn the lights on and stuff. So pretty easy. 
not too hard to set up considering all the all the lights and stuff um but yeah i just wanted to do a quick close-up of it gonna be a lot more videos to come of this truck um like i said we're gonna be trying to do the construction uh, i'd like to get one of the excavators and bulldozers and whatnot all that good stuff this is going to be the the hauling truck probably end up doing more trucks in the future let me know what uh, kind of truck you guys want to see me build uh they got all the tamaya trucks all the hercules hobbies trucks let me know which one you guys want to see next maybe i'll do it up really into these trucks um, ready? all right here we go Facebook you probably uh, probably have seen it you can see the size of it there against me it's pretty big um, but yeah thanks for watching guys there'll be definitely more videos of this truck to come um, trailers and I got my buddy with the dump truck I'll definitely be showing off that truck too um, I'd like to get into the equipment as well if any of you guys got any trucks or equipment or anything like that and want to come play with us uh, more the merrier this summer uh, we're gonna be trying to make uh, all kinds of stuff, uh, roads and hills and mining, you name it, we're going to try to do it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.